Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to give you a quick little tutorial on how you can add an admin to your Facebook page easily, quickly, simply, without a lot of hassle. Now, I got this question recently and found I didn't have a tutorial on this, my goodness, so I had to had to whip one up here. So here's here's the issue with admins on your page. You can add different levels of admins to your page now, which is fantastic. And you can easily do that by going up to your admin panel area. This is this area up here in this uh, section, top section. If you don't see it, you've got the little show button that'll show it to you. So now you go into the admin roles area here. And here's where you can see who's uh, who's an admin of your page. And currently, my alter ego, Andrea, is, and um, my cat. So uh, that's who we've got as my admins. I have to I have to have some backup admins. So it's it's always a good idea. So um, you can add different admins just by typing in the email of their Facebook login. Now, it's not just the email that you communicate with them. You have to make sure that it's the email they use to log into Facebook for them to find you. Now, you can also sometimes find people easily just because you connect with them like my friend Phyllis here. I can easily type in her name and it'll pop up. Sometimes that doesn't happen, though. So you have to try using the... the uh, the uh, email address, thank you, <laughs> and, and enter it that way. Now you can switch, so the manager is the highest level here, and that can make any changes you want. So you want to be careful what kind of power you give the people. I mean, they might go crazy on you and you delete your page and do all kinds of stuff accidentally. Who knows, maybe they're meaning to, maybe they're not. But make sure that you know and trust the people who you grant admin access to. You can have content creator, which means that they can do posting and things like that. A moderator, which means that they can comment as your page. Uh, an advertiser is then someone who can then have advertising access to your page, which gives them the ability to advertise your page in the same way that you have. Um, People can sometimes get around that a little bit, but it, it, it helps at times. Or you can just grant them insight analyst, analyst stuff for, so they can look at your reports and give you information on, on that kind of thing if you're, if you're hiring someone to help you with your stats. So you want to be careful you know, how you grant people admin access. Now, you can just, um, I'm just going to give uh, Phyllis content creator access, and I'm going to say save. Now, you have to know your password. So for those of you who, who save your passwords and don't know them, you got to know it for that kind of situation. So now Phyllis is a content creator. She could, she could uh, co create content on my page. Um, and uh, it's all saved. Don't worry about that. Now, say you can't find the person's address. See, say you're even trying to type in their email, and it's not popping up. You're not able to make them an admin. Here's the easiest way you can do that without messing with that email stuff. Uh, what you can do is you can see here your new likes appear in this section. Now, uh, if you click see all, and it shows the most recent like first. So Karen here is the most recent like. If you click see all, you could easily make this person an admin. Uh, and just uh, and just click and boom, you've got them as an admin there. Now, so the easiest way to make someone an admin if you're having problems is to have them go unlike your page and re-like it. And then they're going to be the one that pops up first there and you can easily click uh, make admin. So there you go. There's my little little easy trick on how to get an admin. And I also want to tell you, you if you've got a business-only page, you want to have an admin to it somewhere with a personal profile. The reason is there's some other things that you get, and if you don't have this Facebook search bar up at the top, you'll you'll know that you've got a business-only page. You want to have an admin. That's a whole other post 
I've talked about that before, but I'm reiterating that right now. So there you go. Don't give people too much power. Get them to unlike and re-like the page to easily make them an admin. Once you've made them an admin there, then you can go in and edit in this admin area again, like I showed you, the admin roles. Then you could go and edit you know, if they're a, uh, if they, if you want them to be a, like just a content creator type of thing. So hope that helped. Lots of good nuggets in there and talk to you next time.